All right, so something I forgot to mention in the previous video on DM6, the uh, the Dark Zone, is that when Deathmatch Classic launched, uh, there were only five of the seven official maps within the game. The other two were added later, I think on September 19th, 2001. Uh, that being DC DM5 here and another map called, um, well, PSE3, which we'll obviously get to that one a little bit later. I've seen people say that DC DM5 is based off of the map map DC DM5 from Quake the Cistern, and that is absolute bullshit. That is an absolute fucking lie. Maybe it's vaguely based off of that map, but this is not a direct copy of that map whatsoever. And I've seen websites like Giant Bomb say it is, and I'm kind of like, what are you talking about? This this is not the Cistern. It, it, it maybe vaguely, but no, it's it's not. If you played the Cistern and like like you know. Quake, it is just totally not that map. So, yeah. Um, it's good, though. I don't know who made it. I don't even know, like, if it actually is based off of a community map. I couldn't find... Like, or a community map from Quake or anything like that. I couldn't find any evidence of that. I think it's called DC DM5 because it's the, like, you know... Fifth Deathmatch map. Like, you know, called DM. DM2, 3, 4, 6. That's 4. And then there's 5. So, it's both the fifth one and it's 5... Even though there's five maps because DMC, EM1, M2. It's DMC because it's Deathmatch Classic. Deathmatch. It's just saying what it is. Like what Quake map it was based off. Because in Quake, all these maps would have been DM1, 2, like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Or not 7. I guess if you play Quake 64, there's a 7th one. Never mind. But yeah, that's what... Like this without the like DMC underscore is what the map was in Quake. And they added in DMC underscore to tell you that this is the DMC version of that. Th this is not... As you can see, DMC, DM5. It's not. Um, and it's likewise for this one, which I think it's actually called Venom, but I have no idea, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah, it's it's not the cistern. Just stop calling it the cistern. Stop saying it's based off the cistern, because it's not. Like, you look at it immediately, and this is not the cistern. Like, it has some vague elements of it, but it's not the cistern. By the way, the lava doesn't hurt you, and that lambda signal is backwards. Anyway, let's talk about the map. So yeah, if you come here, you can get a rocket launcher through that teleport. Keep that in mind. Uh, so you got open courtyards here. And here, you can actually shoot through that. You know, it goes without saying. So take advantage of that if you see someone walking that way. Grab the double barrel if you haven't. And if you want, let's go this way. And this kind of leads into like the little lava area, I like to call it. Where you can grab a bunch of fucking chain gun ammo. Like just an absurd amount. And you can also grab the nail gun, which is great. And I'm saying right here is the nail gun. N or not nail gun, the lightning gun. Now, there's no point where you can actually submerge yourself in the not lava, so you can't ass blast anyone with the lightning gun, which is a shame. You know, that would have made this map even better, but oh well. So we'll talk about this. This is a wind tunnel, which the sister didn't have! I don't know why I'm so, like, insistent and so upset that this, like, people get this map confused with the sister, and I don't know why. Anyway, yeah, there's, like, a little walkway here. And there's a few ways to go from there. You can go this way, you can go that way. Now, if you go this way, you can get just the nail gun. I don't know why this gets a little special in clove. You can't even go anywhere else from here, so it's a complete waste. So you don't even come this way because the nail gun sucks in multiplayer. Uh, but yeah, if you were, for instance, to go this way real quick and like line up in a train, apparently. You know, I don't like attacking the boss and they're not attacking me, but come on, guys. Anyway, jump up here, take a little air tunnel out, and it kind of yeets you. And if you do that, you get an armor here. And you got a few ways to go. You can go this way and see this texture that's not properly going out. This is actually listed on the official Valve Jit Hub for this game. Like, where you can report issues of the game. And I don't know when that got reported, but apparently they're never going to fix it. Because, you know, there's like two people playing this anymore. So yeah, there you go. That's something. Uh, do shoot that, though, because it opens this up and you get a shortcut down. You know, you, nice little trap here. The bots are always really bad on this map, by the way. I mean, I the, like there was like none of the Parabot doesn't come with nav points because it creates them on the fly. But something about this map that the bots just can't understand. I almost wonder if there's a secret door there. I'll have to investigate after because they always seem to do that. I mean, you can also come down this way and shoot down at them too. So you know, there's an option, or you can come up here and grab some ammo for your rocket launcher. Anyway, we're on the piers now. As I like to call them piers. That's the wrong word. We're on the ledges now. So you can grab mega health if you come that way. You can also. Get to the mega health from here. Take advantage of that. As you can see here, you can walk around on this part too. To get to easier time to get back into the windows into this area here. You can shoot down. We'll talk about this little area here because I didn't talk about it earlier. 
Uh, there's the uh, super nail gun, which is good. Good fun. There's a lot of nail guns and rocket launchers in this map, so that's good. Uh, this room is very important, as you can see, because this is where the uh, quad damage is. You want to pick that up ASAP. And that's also, you can get to it from here if you didn't, like, you know, if you want, if you were up here and want to get to it, take that way. Obviously, it leads you back into this area over here. I don't really, yeah, I, mean, I showed that earlier. And you're going to notice, too, there's a lot of areas where you can shoot through to, like, other parts of the map. So keep that in mind, because, you know, that's going to be really helpful. I'm going to just stop for a second. I need to see what Stevie's barking at. Yeah, I'm expecting someone at the door. Um, so it's probably not a good time to be recording, but whatever. But yeah, back to my point. Yeah, you could shoot through all these little walkways here. And you don't have to worry about falling through them. So you could do this jump here to get back over to this side here if you want. And this leads you over here. Again, look at this. You can actually fall through that. And I actually forget that every time. But of course, if you're not terrible at the game, you can come back, over th back through there. And you could be shooting down there too. Keep that in mind. You could be also shooting there. That leads us to the back of that room, but I've already talked about that one. So yeah, here you go. This courtyard's got a lot in it, as you can see. It's got a super shock, or it's got a super nail gun. Ooh, and it's got a grenade launcher. So that's cool. And obviously this is back now, so if you want for maximum pain, grab that. And yeah, grab this stuff, grab the goodies. And the only way back, like, from here is to go through this teleporter, which I showed off earlier. And that leads you to the rocket launcher, and yeah, that's about it. Like I said, this is not the cistern. I, I, I'm, I'm getting over it. It just it bugs me because, you know, people obviously didn't actually bother playing the damn thing. Oh, well. You know what I expect. Anyway, I'm just going to investigate real quick. Oh, that is fucking amazing. There's nothing here. Why are we all cra- Never mind. This is loud noises. Oh, my God. You can't hear it, but there's like something splashing. Oh, that was terrible. That was great, but it was terrible, too. I don't know anything about anything anymore. Hopefully with me killing them and them trying to kill each other, they don't get stuck on corners so much. I don't know why the bat, like pathfinding here is so wonky. Nice revenge kill, though. Pro tip! Get that! Get it! And flub it! You're flubbing it! I actually can't believe I even got a kill off this. Never mind. Oh, here it comes! Oh, yes! I want a jib! I want a jib! I, I don't want the grenade launcher! Screw that! I just want to jib people up! Oh, yeah! There we go! I did the heavy weapons guy! You see that? Oh, I love it! That's how every shotgun kill ever should be! We're good. With or without a quad damage! You just explode! Explode! I like how the blue light stays there even after the quad damage is gone. That was probably intentional on the map designer's part, though, because I don't recall that happening anywhere else. They just wanted to let you know that's where it is. And really, guys, are we going to keep flipping this? Th that's nasty. Ooh, that's some laziness on the designer's part there. Come on now. 